Usually when I'm using a pressure cooker, I would show you some savoury dishes, but a pressure cooker is also fantastic if you want to make desserts. Just like what I'm going to show you today, this is my steamed apple puddings in a butterscotch sauce. So delicious. And the best thing about it, it only takes 10 minutes to do in the cook for me. Now I'm going to heat this up, so we'll just manually do this and we'll set that to the browning function. And then for the pudding dough, so this is just some self-raising flour. I'm going to add a pinch of salt and then just mix it up with your hands. And then in the center of this, I'll add 50 grams of butter. It's slightly softened. The rest of it I'll use later for our sauce. Now with your hands, just crumble up that butter and mix it into the flour. Now for some sweetness, I'll add some rice malt syrup. You can also use some honey for this. And you wanna add about a teaspoon to two teaspoons, depending on how sweet you want the dough. Perfect. Also some milk, a quarter of a cup of milk. And then with a spoon, I'll now mix this together to form a sticky dough. So pressing it together and then again, scraping it off with your hands and then bring it all together in the bowl. All right, I'm really happy with that dough. It's come together. Now just place it onto a board and then using a knife, I'm going to cut it into eight even portions. So four, perfect. Okay, I'll leave the dough here for a moment while we get onto the butterscotch sauce. So this is preheated now. We'll add the remaining butter just to the bowl and you'll see it start to bubble away. So now we'll add some sugar, some brown sugar. And for some spices, allspice and good old cinnamon. That combination always reminds me of Christmas or baking with my grandma. I love the smell of cinnamon and allspice together. Now with a wooden spoon, I'll mix this together. Okay, that's looking good. Now to bring this all together, a quarter of a cup of thickened cream. We'll just pour that in. Perfect. Along with some apple cider. Now because these are little apple puddings, apple cider will really bring out that flavour. So a small amount of that can go in too. Okay, one last stir. And again, on the browning function, we're just going to let that bubble away and thicken, which will give me just enough time to start making these puddings. Now, I'll grab my rolling pin and working with one piece of dough at a time, press it out. And you can have some flour on standby if it's a bit too sticky. Then roll it. I'll get my flour now. Just a little pinch of flour and roughly do this. We want it to be about three millimetres thick. We'll grab our apples that I've cored, peeled and quartered. Then we'll place the apple in the centre of the pastry and then carefully wrap it up like a present and then that's the first one done. All right, I'm gonna continue doing this, then we can go on to the next stage. All right, last apple is done. So now what we can do is place these little apple pastries into the butterscotch and you want them to be in one layer. So just place them around into that hot sauce. And then this is going to pressure cook for 10 minutes. And what's going to happen is the apples are going to be really soft in the center and then the outside pastry is gonna be super moist and spongy. And the best thing about this cook for me is I just have to lock it, set it for 10 minutes and then it will stop automatically once it's cooked. Okay, this has been pressure cooking for 10 minutes and it's now safe to open the cook for me. Oh, the smell of toffee. It's absolutely delicious. Now you can see that they're gorgeous and golden brown on the top. And now I'll take the bowl out and we can serve this. Now the best way to serve this is just to dig in. So we're just gonna break these up. Think of them like scones. So they'll just pull apart and very carefully take it out of the bowl and plop that onto the plate. 
and a second one. Just scooping up some of that sauce. And we'll pop them next to each other. And then I love to serve this with some dollop cream because you've got those hot puddings and then a generous amount of that cream on top. And then I'm going to add some more of that thick sauce just on the side there, look at that. Ooh, so yummy. To finish it off, a dusting of icing sugar over the top. That is a stunning pudding, cooked in 10 minutes in the cook for me. It's piping hot in the centre with that apple and then that nice cold dollar cream on the top. This pudding is fit for a king.